Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. What happened, Tofu? What is it that you are thinking? Yes, dear. I am not able to understand how can a person win the race if he is slow and yet steady. There is a very famous story behind this. Should I tell you that first? Sure. The Hare and the Tortoise Long ago, in a forest, a small get-together of animals was taking place. You know what? I can beat anyone in this forest. Nobody can beat me in a race. Yes, I have seen him running. I bet he can beat anyone in this forest. Suddenly, from the crowd, they hear somebody laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think you can beat me in a race? I may not disagree with you, O oh Mr. Hare. But I might not deny that I have no fear of competing with you. Oh really? So let's have a race and let's see who wins. So one fine sunny day, all the animals gathered for the race. Everybody was sure that the hare is going to be a clear-cut winner. said the hare proudly. <laughs> now let's go, old man. I'll beat you in a second. The hare runs so fast that all the things on the path go for a spin. On the other hand, the tortoise is running too, but at such a pace that even snails could pass by him easily. <laughs> Suddenly, the hare stops and looks behind. Oh my 
my lord! That tortoise is gonna take ages to reach this point. So let's just stop here and take some rest. By the time he reaches here, I would get good rest and then cover him up in a blink of a second. In the meanwhile, the tortoise slowly and steadily reaches the point where the hare is fast asleep. He very quietly tiptoes past the hare and the hare is all ignorant of this fact. Suddenly, the hare gets up by the rows of the crowd, cheering up the tortoise. Go tortoise, go! Go tortoise! Oh my lord, how is that possible? I kept on sleeping for so long that the tortoise is about to finish the race. He runs and runs and runs. But to his disappointment, the tortoise just manages to finish the race before he could. In the story, the hare was so full of himself. He was overconfident that he would surely beat the tortoise in the race. Cause he is faster than that poor being in every other way. But, but the hare underestimated the tortoise and succumbed in his own fake overconfidence. Yes, and that's why only a person who thinks calmly and is not overconfident of himself wins the race in every sphere of life. Proud people can't survive for long. Hmm. What are you doing, Tofu? I'm trying to water the plants, but this hose is broken. Come, let me tell you a short story. The Clever Crow One hot day, a thirsty crow flew all over the fields looking for water.
For a long time, he could not find any water. Suddenly, he saw a water jug below the tree. He flew straight down to see if there was any water inside. Yes, he could see some water inside the jug. The crow tried to push his head into the jug. Sadly, he found that the neck of the jug was too narrow. What should I do? I am really thirsty. How do I drink water? Then he tried to push the jug to tilt for the water to flow out, but the jug was too heavy. He looked around and saw some pebbles. He suddenly had a good idea. He started picking up the pebbles one by one, dropping each into the jug. As more and more pebbles filled the jug, the water level kept rising. Soon, it was high enough for the crow to drink. His plan had worked. So, like the clever crow, was able to find a solution to the problem by thinking and working hard, would you be able to find one to this too? Thanks, Tia. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hut family. Subscribe here.